Now, I, I want to ask this question without being crass, but I can't kind of think of a way to do it. But I think people might think, oh, lovers in Auschwitz, they were probably sending love notes. That's what we're defining it as. They figured out how to kind of meet up physically. And I think as much as there's a lot of stuff in here where you're like, wow, to me, that's almost the most amazing part. And it it's darkly almost hilarious in a way that basically they'd have to meet up and they'd have to go to a certain point and they might have lookouts. Like it sounds like a, a high school kids meeting up with their friends watching to make sure the parents don't come around. But instead it's this extremely dark, dangerous situation just for them to physically be together, right? Yeah, it was incredible to hear the how far they went to to have these few moments of just being together. It started out as passing little notes, which, by the way, was extremely dangerous. If they were caught writing at all, you know, beyond the statistics, the statistics she had to write, just writing notes, they would have been in trouble. But they passed notes. And then eventually, Sippy, because of her position, was able to create this space that was basically made up of there's there were these warehouses that kept clothing that belonged to the prisoners that had been confiscated from the prisoners when they arrived in Auschwitz. So imagine packs of these clothing that were essentially like little bricks bundled together piled on top of each other and they created the space where if you took a couple of the bricks out you could step in and then put the bricks back in and it was there is a hollow inside that fit two bodies and once you put the two bricks back up if you didn't know any better it just looked like you know piles and piles of bricks but there was this small little hollow where they could fit two bodies and she got another prisoner to kind of stand guard and and you know send out a signal if someone was coming. Um, and they met for a few minutes and this lasted just for a few months. But David said, you know, it was worth the risk. When they registered into Auschwitz, they were tattooed and they became numbers. But once they were in this hollow, they got their humanity back. You know, they were two human beings who could touch each other as human beings and, and not be numbers. It's extremely impressive that they did it. And I can totally understand taking that risk. And the more I looked into this, they weren't the only ones doing it. Other prisoners were doing this too. There were quite a few uh, little affairs happening 